evening, free enterprise fans, and welcome to our Wednesday night hoppity hops. I am Alicel, and I am joined here by Dijon Ketchup. How are you doing tonight, Dijon? I'm doing all right. Nice and cozy. Got my PJs on. Got my big bottle of water. Staying hydrated. Excellent. And we have got some fun little flags here today. Indeed, we do. Uh, especially that fourth one. Um, this is push B to jump, which means um, bosses are sometimes optional. But I do believe that that makes that van vanilla ribbon room boss actually required. Uh, you know, I'm actually not sure uh, if you can jump over that trigger or not. I know you can jump over the trigger, but I think to conquer the Vanilla Ribbon Room, you actually have to fight that boss. Oh, you're right. See, that's that's why you gotta, like, read the wording specifically. Because my, my brain was just like, oh, you just, if you can jump over it, jump over it and grab the chest and you're golden. But no, you are correct. You cannot jump over that boss. You have to jump headlong into it. I tried. But tonight, our runners are going to be Jeebus Zero and X Pancras, two of our community members who have decided to let us uh, kind of stream their struggles. Yep. And then there's also uh, some other, you know, great community members uh, not being restreamed who are running as well. So. Keep in mind, this is a race uh, between more than two people, as are, you know, most community races. I believe tonight we do have 11 racers, and we are getting started. So, so bang on. That's... Pretty vanilla, actually. Yeah. And a nice uh, break until a start. Yeah. So, uh, getting a getting a a mage start here. And it looks like Pankraz is going straight to Baron. Maybe gonna loot some of these uh, easy checks, see who the character is here. Uh, we've got a Lunar Sparkle. So uh, it, it, that's a pool of five bosses there that it could be. Meanwhile, we have Jeebus um, has decided, uh, I don't want to go through the watery pass. It's wet and damp and ew. Uh, just kind of jumps over those guards and heads into Baron Castle. And looks like has found some pretty nice equipment. Um, I saw Lilith Rod, a uh, nice Bacchus, Dancing Dagger, Curse String. Curse Strings are always good. Curse String is... Uh... It'd be useful if uh, you take that Tella into the end game, for sure. I mean, it's useful for taking lots of characters into the end game, but oh, double curse string. Why not two? But yeah, as you can see with uh, both of our runners, there are multiple ways to jump into the Baron Castle, uh, multiple angles. So who needs a Baron key? And for those who may have never seen Push B to Jump, uh, this is a special flag set that came out right around, uh, it was our April Fools for 2020. And the concept is you can push B to jump and push B to jump. But what if I were to push B, what would happen? Well, you would probably jump. Interesting. Anyway, Jeebus is taking advantage of the fact that we have we 
don't have the no free item, or no free key item flag on, and getting that free item from Edward, and it is an Avenger, which will be nice if there's a cane somewhere. Yep, if we could find a cane or even a Cecil with a crystal sword, um, crystal sword Cecil go burr. Indeed. But looks like our runners are kind of just doing some of the same checks. And it looks like Jeebus is actually going to go ahead and take on the Tower of Zot. Which, um, if you can jump over things, doesn't actually require that darkness crystal. Or, uh, that earth crystal. Yep, because you can just, uh, you know, jump over whatever boss is there. And, uh, get talk to whatever character is there, and just skip right over that. Meanwhile, uh, Pancraz is heading into Cave Magnus, um, the Cave of Sadness on this flag set, as you don't have to fight the Dark Elf and get music to go ahead and get those items, or that key item. Indeed. You can just, you know, you jump right over that dark elf and, uh, take his key item and not gonna know what hit him. Well, Jeebus is taking on an Edward and a, uh, Cecil. Meanwhile, Pancras getting an adamant armor. Ooh. Wow, what are those? We haven't seen those in a long time. So adamant armors are the best armor in the game. Um, but you, uh, you have to be choosy about who you put it on, because there's a bug in the game where if you take it off of that character, uh, it's gonna drop their... Um, resistance to, I think, like, I think it's, like, the, some of the elemental... I forget exactly. It, 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 it messes with your character's stats if you take it off, basically, which you don't want. So, generally, you only put it on a character that you know you want to keep it on for the entire game. You get weakness to every element if you take it off. Thanks, Zena, again. Yeah, as a general rule, you don't want to be weak to every element. It, it's a bold strategy. But it looks like X Pancras is going to go ahead and head down the hook path, which um, notably does not require a hook. Unfortunately, there's not a very quick way to get back out of the Tower of Zod, except for some just cliff diving. Yep. I mean, the quickest way out is to just, uh, you know, have the teleport out cutscene when you defeat the boss, but who has time for bosses? Yeah, with a base level Tella and Rosa and Edward and um, Cecil... Not a great party to take on the one of the harder bosses of the overworld. Yeah, hopefully uh, for Jeebus' sake, that's not a required key item that you get from that, because if it is, he's gonna have to go back. Yep, that's one thing that you kind of have to balance with push B to jump is checks that you really don't want to have to do twice. Uh, 
Bancraft's finding a few decent items in the uh, Evelyn Cave. And Jeebus deciding that it's really not worth it to fight any of those bosses when you can just hop. Wow, there's so much hop, you would think that this was Pokemon Sword and Shield. Also, uh, buy CPU and uh, Tella. Yeah, Tella is great when you find him. Second Tella, not so much. Kind of had some dimish diminishing returns. Well, Jeebus is uh, fighting the Octomom that's sitting at the the shrine at Ordeals, um, having conveniently jumped over both of the bridge bosses to get there. Yeah, this being the uh, boss with a thousand hit points versus quite a few more and being very stabby and angry in that back attack spot. But gets through, brings that Cecil up to a paladin, can now equip that Avenger and that defense sword. And after 10 minutes, Pankraz is our first runner underground, having fought zero bosses. That is the optimal number of bosses to fight to get underground. Unfortunately, one of our objectives is to get underground via the magma key. But, um, yeah, we don't have one of those. Not yet. But I have faith that we will find it. Yeah, otherwise this uh, would be a never-ending seed. And we see that wonderful single dip of Fabul. Um, gonna go ahead, smack that young, turn everything in, and get three checks for the power of one. Always check your freebies. So, hopefully, uh, Sheila has the goods. Yep, and Pankra's also going to check his other freebie down here, the Fae March chest. It's a fun little chest. It's just kind of there. And it's a key item check. And then Tella's just gonna hover. Well, and there's the pass, so... Well, pass is good. If they have to come back from the moon, it's always nice to just be able to zoom on up to Zeromus. Yep. Of course, having to go and uh, conquer the vanilla ribbon room. You know, if you end up saving that for last, you don't really need, uh, don't really need the pass. Also, there was a lot of crystal stuff in that one armor shop. Do you just want to be completely decked out in crystal gear? Well, uh, we do know Cecil is in the seed. And that is actually a fairly rude mom bomb there in that Leviathan spot. Yeah, that that's going to be a bit punchy. Well, so, you know, our runners are probably going to hope that that's not required. Yeah, the Cecil, or uh, the Cecil, the Yang, while also being pretty punchy, is a little bit rude, but with that Cecil, we'll make that fight. Wait, no, no, 
be unsafe. Boss unsafe. We also had some French vanilla going with the uh, with the ant lion dropping a sand ruby. Ant lions, sand rubies. What is vanilla? Got ourselves a forum uh, up on Mount Hobbs. So Jeebus is gonna take her and demolish the officer soldier fight. Not even giving the officer a chance to run away uh, as he's scripted to do. And we have found our sirens in the seed down in Dwarf Castle, so our grind will be guaranteed once uh, our runners are ready to do it. Easily accessible sirens means uh, not having to set up D machines and stuff. Nobody's got time for that here. And it looks like uh, Pankraz does want to get a little influx of experience here. And we'll see. Did find some coffins, so it does have a way to kill that egg. Does have those coffins. Those are very helpful in uh, in the grind against the eggs because you can just one shot them with an item. Because they have, I want to say it's somewhere around 1,800, 2,000 health, something like that, uh, which can be, you know, obviously difficult to do at lower levels in one shot. And you don't want the thing to hatch either. And it looks like um, we are going to see some Warrior Rosa with that heroine robe, that glass hat, bow and arrow. She was taking out uh, Mylon and friends in the Antlion Cave, getting a tower key. So there'll be no keyless tower for Jeebus. And looks like Pankraz is going to go ahead and get that Tella up to snuff. And I believe Pankraz does know about that Cecil, so we'll be able to um, just pick up a Paladin Cecil. Yeah, it's, it's interesting just how uh, different they've taken the route. Um, you know, as you can see by a two-person party on Pankraz's side right now, versus a full party on Jeebus' side. Oh, and there's the... the dope rope. Yep, our Canadian snake friend, uh, tried to come and attack us, but, uh, Avenger Sword Cecil says, uh, no. Dark Elf uh, wants to fight you anyway. Uh, Dark Elf is probably about to have a really bad time. And Pankraz has now picked up his Darkness Crystal. So both of our runners now have everything pretty much open to them. Jeebus gets a Baron key from Baron Inn. Um, this is a very, very pretty vanilla uh, Baron Inn. Um, of course, this being push B to jump, that key is kind of useless. Yeah. Again, nobody wants to go through the sewers. It's icky. Well, actually, it's not entirely useless. As you can see, he's opening the, the weapon and armor shop, so... And another wizard robe. 
and a tiara. So... I'll... I'll leave it to y'all to judge whether that was worth it or not. <laughs> I give it a two a ten. Rate that weapon and armor shop. I don't think we have a. I don't think we have a jingle for that. Not yet. And our tracker Xenocat actually telling us that it's not worth, the shop opens automatically once Baron is liberated. Ah, well, there you go. Blue robe, what's it gonna be? We've got the alt gauntlet. We have 17 monsters and a trench coat on a throne. That's a very large throne. <laughs> and who's on the moon? It's Sid! Pancras doesn't want Sid, I guess. Yeah, Sid is not the most, um... He's not who you're looking for for late game. Yeah, but... Pancras still only has, what, a two-person party at the moment? Very true. Very true. Feels like at this point, Sid could have been very helpful, but... I'm also not great at this game, so who knows? But looks like we are going to get those three key item checks here in a row from x Pancras, while uh, Jeebus is continuing to fight with the throne here with the all conflict. taking out the eh, who, no problem. Who needs more party members when your Tella is doing a thousand damage? And we see a hint of the true final boss here in Free Enterprise, the inventory boss is rearing its ugly head. Good old limited inventory. Oh, music. That's not helpful in this instance, but... Oh, and now there's a Palom on Jeebus' side. Come on, you know what you want to do. Oh, dismissing uh, Porum. Jeebus may be holding out hope for a bit of cutlery for that Edward. Yeah, it is equipable with this flag set, I believe. And Adam and Armor Spoon Eddie also go burr. Yeah. And Jeebus getting a rat tail from Baron. Not unfortunately, the right, not the right tail. Nope, not the right tail. And unfortunately, cannot turn that in yet. You cannot jump over that little uh, little strip of water to get to the cave. Uh, 
Jima's using the sand ruby to get Kane out of bed. And there, there goes the Edward. Yeah, nobody really wants that glass cannon anyway. And I have a feeling that several people just put a head out on my head. Tune in to twitch.tv slash free enterprise for all your Edward hot takes. But it looks like Jeebus is finally ready to go ahead and see what's hiding up on the moon. Uh, still has not gone underground and smacked that cane with that, or that yong with that pan. Pancras targeted that Mylon first before the friends, and I was, at th th this uh, location, I was worried it was gonna take him out immediately. You, you don't want to get rid of, uh, my lawn first, because the friends they get mad, they get mad and they get they get stabby. Yeah, anyone who has ever taken out my lawn first and gotten that little uh, little reminder of why that's a hashtag bad idea. Um, yeah, you're just hanging out and all of a sudden all the friends are doing nine 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 damage in a low level spot. But looks like Pankraz is ready to go pick up that Paladin Cecil and will likely take out the boss while he's here, giving him a key item check that Jeebus was not able to do his first time through. Yeah, if he's, uh, if he's able to take out that boss, if it's a required item, it could give him a bit of an advantage. Yep, if it's that magma key or even that pink tail or hook, um, really kind of gives him that knowledge and knows that he is just looking for one or two more uh, key items. Do a little swag trick to save one tile off at the same spot. And of course, having done ordeals already, Cecil is a paladin. And immediately getting that defense sword power shirt. And yeah, that's about it. Ah, a ribbon for good measure. Wonder Make him look pretty. Wonder if he'll do the uh, Avenger glitch and drop the Avenger on him in the, in the fight. I'm thinking so, just because he had not equipped a shield on that Cecil. Oh, he's back row glitching him first. And Jeebus is going and taking on a rarely seen encounter here on the moon. And uh, has not found those sirens, so trying to get a little influx of XP with this hairdryer chest. And doing, uh, doing quite a bit of damage to his party, though, so... It's a little scary. He did go ahead and use one of the Hourglass 2s that he found, so now Cecil's just going to kind of hit things very hard, very quick. Also, and 
we're dropping a very well-placed, uh, well-timed Thor Rage. Oh, still, still gets hit hard, though. Yeah, that does take out both Edward and Porum. So, we'll see if this lit three is enough to cancel this wave cast, or just kill the boss. That's mm. fine, too. Yeah, just skip the shell hiding entirely. Yeah, hiding inside the shell with an Avenger that doesn't do enough damage is kind of like hitting, uh, fighting the mist with Berserk on. Jiba uh, was hitting up some of those uh, rarely seen places on the moon. Um, you generally don't see anyone go in these other uh, caves. Um, yep. Now, T Wildish is on, so some of those lesser seen areas do have a better chance to have some pretty nice gear. And Pankrat's getting the package, which uh, really does nothing for him. Yep. Unfortunately, the package just allows you to burn down mist because you want to burn down mist. He was just got to jump over uh, Sid's appearance. Package could be a character, yes, um, but there are no character requirements, and... Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, because you have to go through a boss fight to get that character as well. It's, it's a lot to go through for a character. Granted, like, I could see it paying off if there was a, a foo there, but... still having to take the time to check. Well, and even Fu is not that great on these flags because you do tend to fight significantly fewer bosses because you can just jump over them. This is also a fair point. Uh, the only required boss on this, well, required based on the uh, objectives themselves is the one in the ribbon room. There could be bosses that have the Magnet McKee and the Big Tail. Yeah, Demist doesn't have an item on this uh, flag set because the no free key items flag is off, which means that the item you would get from uh, Pretty as Mom uh, is just held by Edward in uh, Troya Castle. And it looks like we're going to get to see... Oh, there was a pink tail in one of those chests. Oh, and it's the Magus sisters. This is not kind. Yeah. I know this spot normally has 65,000 HP, but I don't know if that's, like, split nicely between the sisters, or... Ew. Yeah, I'm not. It, it's hard to tell with character with uh, bosses that have multiple targets, and not to mention they're just kind of a pain because you know, number one, you've got a berserking Cecil, and if he targets the wrong ones and takes one out, they could just get uh, reanimated. Yeah, you definitely don't really want to do a sister grind in this spot. I mean, it's a lot of experience, don't get me wrong, but uh, this party is not in a position to really be able to, to take a whole lot of hits. And chat is correcting me, it's only 42,000, which is still a lot. 
uh, oh, and Gambit saying, uh, it's 24%, 50%, 26% split. That's a lot of math that I can't do. Yeah, no, I, I can't math. Yeah, and another bad thing about that fight is, uh, the magic attacks that you, the magic attacks that you take, they're all reflected off of one of the sisters. Yeah, and unfortunately does take a wipe there. Uh, gonna change things up a little bit, put that rune axe on that Cecil to go ahead and Avenger glitch rune axe him. a pretty good uh, weapon. Sure is. Uh, it does get times four attack against mages, which the Maga sisters are definitely mages. It's right there in their name. Oh, but Xeno kept pointing out that he left the Avenger on an equipped cane. But he did move that uh, Runax to Cecil, so he can... Oh, yeah, you're right. Unless he has two. Does he have two? I think there's only one. I could be mistaken, though. Yep, did hard cast that Berserk, so... We should be swinging for big numbers now. Yep. Of course, again, you still gotta worry about him taking out the wrong sister first and her just getting uh, resurrected. Yeah, the, uh, oh, man, uh, Cecil's just down. This is, uh... This is a very chaotic uh, boss to fight in some of these. Yeah, this unfortunately is not a free fight for our runners. And with Jeebus having not uh, gone underground and getting those sirens does not have the levels that x Pancras will likely have to take on this spot. Well, Mindy is down. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> Didn't, that, that's another thing, is if, uh, if the sister casts wall on an already walled Cindy, you get walled and may not realize it. As someone who has accidentally used a Bacchus Wine, which also does that same thing, and loses her one Bacchus Wine, yeah, it's not fun. Well, and as Zoe says, at least it wasn't a Moon Veil. And unfortunately, Mindy is back. And, uh, not happy, so taking it out on Cecil. Yeah, this is looking like it may be another wipe here for, uh, Jeebus. Yeah. Oh, on Pankraz's side, he's up against a Bahamut. See, Bahamut is the kind of boss that you would like to see in the, uh, spot here. Yeah, uh... Uh, Cindy can, uh, revive one of the sisters, even if, uh, even if she's not alone. Down on that Bahamut is getting pretty low. 
I did see a star veil come out on that palum, so may just be a kind of if it all goes wrong sort of thing. Yep. Use up a star veil in case he can't take Pommet down before the countdown finishes, which uh, it looks like Mega Noob time. Quad nines to everybody but uh, Palum, so <laughs> experience for Palum. And that's just the Stardust Rod in the uh, basement of Baron Castle, which is a uh, pretty good weapon. Uh, you know, give that to Palum. Or really, like, half of this party could make good use of it. Yeah, definitely a nice weapon. Um, but that does mean that logical... Uh, underground access is on the moon. Which, you know, in most seats is not possible, but because uh, the safeties are turned off, it's very possible, and of course, uh, is. And we do see Cindy go down, so we are now just down to Sandy. There she goes. Getting and some healthy experience out of it as well. Yep, GG's to Jeebus, uh, our first runner to finish objective number four. And taking that pink tail and being a step closer to objective number two, of course, uh, still no hook. So, still can't actually get to the cave to trade it away. And it does look like Jeebus is waiting to have that true underground access before heading down there. Golbez on the moon. And that's, a, that's a reset from Jeebus right away. Uh, I think that's the that's the White Spear room, right? That is correct. That is the White Spear altar, um, which doesn't have a lot of HP, thankfully, because that is the normally the plague spot. We're getting... Uh, Size and Piggy on everyone, so short, uh, short Golbez's scriptedness, and you can also uh, set things up while he's rambling on. Yep, uh, Piggy and Size both have a higher priority in the status queue than Entangle, so. They will uh, actually not be tangled, so you can quickly throw out any star veils. Is it SNES programming fun? Uh, Final Fantasy IV is a well-designed game with zero bugs. Only features. Indeed. Oh, found the wyvern. It's uh, in the tower. Blark. Rosa gets a star veil off, and so does Palo. And, of course, that's uh, not going to be near enough to take out the Wyvern on that Reflect. And the magic attack in this spot is so low that uh, Cecil just outright dodges that... Uh... Dodges that mega nuke. Yeah. Just. Just. 
dodge an entire gigantic nuclear blast, you know? And there is that spoon. Unfortunately, both our runners have ditched their eddies. Yeah, isn't that unfortunate, though? No, no, it's really not. Oh. Well, this is, uh... Something, something, is this even something? Something, something, Zoe Vanillion. That's a pushover spot in general, but when it's, uh, the vanilla dark, uh, imps like that, it's even more of a pushover. Yep, it is a very quick fight, and now we just have to climb down the tower to see what they were holding. Speaking of, uh... Quick fights, Jeebus would do that whole Golbez fight for Protect Ring. Rude. Kinda keep though, cause I guess why not? And unfortunately, uh, still nothing of value. Well, there's, uh, three more, um, subterrain bosses left, and one Cave Bahamut boss. So, by my calculations, that's four more key item checks. One of them has to be Hook or Magma. So you know who you don't want to have the Avenger equipped for? Um... Is it D-Mist? It is a D-Mist. Yeah. Cause, uh... Your, uh, your Berserked Kane or Cecil is gonna attack it while it's in mist form, and it doesn't like it when you do that. Yep, I think we even saw during the last tournament somebody um, get into a... Uh, where they couldn't even get the next form to come up because of ATB shenanigans. Yeah, Berserk can really mess up uh, the ATB. Uh, another good example of that is... Uh, with Plague, if you are, like, say, using the Avenger and you get a Berserk hit off before Plague casts his stuff, uh, your Berserk character won't count down to zero. But this is unfortunately one of those fights that you will be here for quite a while. And we have some Silver Staff strats. This is exciting.
Uh, for those who have never seen this, um, the Silver Staff, if used as an item, actually casts the Unicorn spell, which is what will um, remove Berserk. And chat asking, why is the character on the right hopping? This is um, Push Me to Jump. It was a flag created for April Fools of 2020. And it is kind of in the same vein as Mystic Quest and will allow characters to jump. Can you believe April Fools 2020 was 15 years ago? I know. Especially since it's still only March 290th. Well, it looks like the downside to Kibis' Silver Staff Strats, which is a thing that tries saying that three times fast, uh, is that Cecil still has a hit queued up uh, by the time Rosa uses the Silver Staff, and so he does still hit the T-Mist in its missed form. Uh, but still better than multiple hits. Well, and Cold Mist is actually so uh, such a weak spell that it really doesn't do a whole lot of damage to your party. on the moon. Oh, there's a crystal sword. So, that paid off. Crystal sword Cecil go burr. Crystal sword Cecil with Avenger glitch. And an adamant armor. Go extra burr. Odin didn't even, uh, didn't even last long enough to get the uh, Sansetsuken off. And still only a Leviathan. So that means either Cave Bahamut has our value, or it is in the Pale Dim spot. But I suspect both of our runners will likely clear out the moon entirely before heading back down to Earth. At this point, that's pretty much a given. Pankraz putting the curse ring on his palum, so I guess that's gonna be his anchor. Now Jeebus taking on the Odin, uh, he won't last long. And I believe that Pankraz will likely have a much easier time with this fight, seeing as how his characters have quite a bit more HP and quite a bit more damage output. And again, Odin didn't even get to raise his sword. And Jeebus is going ahead and exiting out of the moon, likely going to check that pale dim spot. And then um, we'll probably check that Bahamut spot as well, just to be safe. You don't want to have to come back a second time. Yeah, now 
one. You're down to just two checks on the moon, and... Well, I don't know if Jeebus actually knows that, uh... Underground access has to be on the moon. At this point. Uh, but, you know... If you're assuming that... You know, you're not gonna leave until you've at least found whatever it is that you're looking for. Now granted, one could be Hook and one could be Magma. At which point that would put Jeebus in go mode. So, in that case, if this, uh, hailed him. Zoe. Zoe, you gotta push the randomize button. If this Pale Dim has the Magma Key, it would still uh, be in Jeebus' best interest to check whatever's in Cave Bahamut, because it could have the hook. And uh, Pankras getting through those Maga Sisters. We'll hopefully check that Beamist spot and pick up that Crystal Sword. And Pale Dim not putting up too much of a fight. Oh, and there's the hook. So, that... So now that there's an underground access, the Cave Bahamut spot could be Magma Key. Or, the Magma Key could be underground. But is going to go ahead and check that Bahamut Cave. Um, definitely a very safe and good check. Yeah, definitely the right move. Or... Uh... Ah, it's going to go ahead and leave a save. Jeebus doesn't realize, um, because he hasn't done all of his freebies underground, that the magma key is not part of that. Of course, magma key could be, um, uh, behind... Uh, behind the tail. Yep, uh, behind that tail, or could still be behind those Fey March bosses. So I don't know why he's, uh, going to do all of this. And then go check that, because Pink Tail is still an objective he has to complete. So, resetting back to the moon isn't gonna make sense, because you just have to go do all this again. Our tracker also pointing out that uh, Dwarf Castle hasn't been checked anyway, but who does Dwarf Castle? I mean, in theory, uh, no one's checked uh, Sealed Cave. Oh, free element. Luca key. What I have to say. Ooh. What? You can jump over that trigger, right? For the boss? Uh, I'm pretty sure you can. I don't know how to play this flag set. <laughs> I just like things that go boing. Grabs a couple of confidence, and meanwhile Pankraz is on the deepest fight.
And Pancras did not reset um, with that vessel with that Avenger, so gonna go ahead and eat a lot of cold mist. It's cold enough. Oh, Jeebus did not jump over that trigger. May not have known exactly where it was. And now, unfortunately, has to rescue the old man from the orbs. Also, uh, Pancras just uh, casually throwing a coffin on Yang. Well, he wanted him to stop hitting and getting cold misted. Oh, was he also Zerked? Yep. Um, that Yang was also Zerked. And it's bad enough having to take one Cold Mist per round, but not two. Uh, uh is, uh... Pancras maybe stuck in a ATB loop? Oh, no. Never, never mind. There he goes. It just took a lot of hits to... And Demist is now down. Uh, it looks like uh, Rosa learned white. Unless I misread that. I think I saw white, though. Oh. Cecil well, lives! And so did Rosa. They both had enough HP, and th there was such low magic here. Unfortunately, you know what boss doesn't really like the crystal sword that you're now going to fight right now? It's that pale dim. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh Well it's not great. But now that Jeebus has gotten underground, looks like he's going to go ahead and get his freebies out of the way. Uh, going to go bonk at Yong, uh, probably check that Fey March chest. Does have much better levels than uh, Pancras did at the beginning of his freebie check, so may go ahead and try and take down at least one of those bosses. It's entirely possible. Um... All he needs is that magma key, so... And Pancras getting that hook We'll see if he goes ahead and takes on the uh, Bahamut check, or goes and stays on the moon, or uh, goes back to Earth. 
Words. 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 Huh? Going back to Earth. No one wants to go to Cave Value. So, you know, watch the magma key be there. Now, Pancras has significantly less checks on the Earth than uh, Jeebus does, so just has to take on those two Feymarch bosses, do Dwarf Castle, and hop through Luka Cave. But first has to get the hovercraft, which typically in this flag set, um, you wait to unleash. Yeah, it's generally, uh... Generally a thing that you don't need to get right away. She was noped out of uh, what Sheila had. And he's gonna go. Gotta go check the seal cave, right? As Pancras is getting his Luka key. Yeah, sealed cave is a an extremely long check for uh, not a whole ton of value. At least you don't have to fight the boss here, but yeah, it's still quite a long one. Yep, because you still got to go through all these uh, all these rooms to get there. And you can't, uh, you can't warp or exit out. Well, you can warp, like, uh, like, up a floor. But, like, you can't use exit because of the, the boss. Well, and then in vanilla, because they don't want you to skip where, uh, a certain someone steals your thing. Ow, oh, spoilers. Say names. Oh, <laughs> Earth Crystal. Yeah, I doubt we're going to see a treasury check today. Yeah. Oh, Jeebus got to check that tower now. Kraz also resetting out of the Earth Crystal. And Pancras is going to go ahead and take on those two bosses in Fame March. You know, at this point, I just want it to be Cape Bahamut. Oh, so do I. Just to punish because, for leaving. Because when you've got that one check, why would you leave? But I doubt we're going to have too much difficulty now with either of the bosses here. With that young going to go down very quickly to a Crystal Sword Avenger, Adam and Cecil. And Mom Bomb. We may even have the damage to skip her third form. Well, Adamant goes on the Eddie. Now they do have two, so... He's still a glass cannon, though. 
Yeah. Well. Karate is, uh, definitely not hitting much. And with that, with that Paladin Cecil, it just does the scripted end anyway. Oh, light shirt. I mean, it's nice for Rosa. Yeah. There's something about seeing Mom Bomb hit somebody for 18 that just tickles my funny bone. Especially in the Leviathan spot. Eh? We're not even going to see your second yeah, phase. That's, uh,. Oh, that is a spicy meatball. That is a magma key, which puts Pancras in go mode. And, because of the past, he doesn't even have to go back to the moon. God. The game could have just punished them for leaving the moon without doing without doing Cave Bahamut, and it just let them off the hook. I know, I would like to see more punishment. No, no, Suffering the, is a way of life here. The, the key isn't the meatball, Mom Bomb is the meatball, because it's it's a ball. And but it's is it a ball of meat? It's probably made of meat. Well, that's gone. Actually, it's probably made of napalm. Oh my gosh, Zoe. Bomb's a ball. I mean, it is... it is Hanukkah. But... I believe Pankraz has all the levels he's going to need. He's going to stop. Ah, uh, he, uh, he left his other ship here. Yeah. Gotta go around. But at this point, um... I believe we have something that we like to ask, except for the fact that chat doesn't seem to realize it yet. Yeah, the, that question is, did he equip his second adamant to someone? Yes. Okay. Eddie and, uh, Eddie and Cecil. Cecil. Okay, I knew he'd put one on it. Would you like to do the honors tonight, Dijon? Sure. Now is the time that we ask, whose butt are we gonna kick? And, uh, according to Twitch, it is buffering time. Apparently. Twitch, why? Twitch, please. Giving a poorly timed mid roll. And the crystal is thrown by the small murder child. Oh, yeah, it's. Uh... This thing. I don't remember 
it's from some weird game, I guess, that uh, I don't remember. I remember it came up during one, uh, one race in, uh, Corpse Party, that's the one. Yeah, it came up during one, uh, three of us race that I was commentating in. Scala had to explain what it was. She's haunting you. I mean, you did say small murder child. It is a very small murder child. And looks like Jeebus actually forgot that, um, you do have to drop the key down the giant hole that's already there. But we see lots of damage going out. Um, Edward, Cecil, Young, everybody helping out tonight. Oh. Yeah, those are some big numbers. Oh, and uh, that looks like a GG right there. And. Pankraz is our first place finisher with an official race bot time of 1 hour, 14 seconds, and 54 minutes. GG's to him. I think you flipped that a bit. Probably. 1 hour, one hour 14 minutes, 54 seconds. Words are hard. Words are hard. English is hard. Well, and it looks like uh, Jeebus is on his way as well. Yep, Jeebus gonna go ahead and take try and take out this corpse party small murder child. And we'll see if we can't get Pankraz in for an interview. And with that beding, I do believe we are joined with our first place finisher. GG's to you, Pankraz. Thank you very much. So, you didn't want to do cave value. No, I wasn't quite or wasn't quite feeling it, and with the hook in hand, I had more checks on Earth that I thought that I could go and chase. So maybe find the magma key, which ultimately paid off. We were, uh, we were sort of kind of hoping that it was there just to punish both you and Jeebus. Yeah, we were not so secretly, uh... But... Otherwise, how did you feel about that seed? Uh, definitely an interesting one. I mean, when you get the Adam and Armor five minutes in and see, uh, Cave Magnus, it's, uh, it makes things interesting, and you gotta sort of try to real or figure out how best to use it, and my best way to use it was to not use it for 45 minutes. Um, which, in hindsight, wasn't the best way to use it. <laughs> but it was definitely made a lot of things on the table that wouldn't have been on the table otherwise. Like, I knew that need be I could jump into an early fame arch play or go diving the moon with level 25 uh, people or a level 25 party if sirens weren't found anywhere. It 
it opened up a few options that I wouldn't have had otherwise, and I had to try to adjust accordingly, which is always fun. Well, and we noticed that you kind of held on to just two characters for quite a long time, even after that, uh, that Zot Tower check. Yeah, going, or right before heading underground, the only, I had seen Yang and I had seen Porum, and at the moment I didn't really want either of them. Uh, Yang benefits a lot from levels, but one Siren was all I was planning to really do at that time, so was looking for something like a sea soldi or a cane to use the defense sword that I had at that point, or a palum to get quake online, or even a Vridia to use the leviathan summon that I think I had at that point. Just any character that would get me snowballing and get things going, and Porum and Yong were not those options. <laughs> Nor was the Tela at the hook route, or the Sid on the moon that I didn't have a weapon for. It was very... It was... It was a little uh, character sparse in terms of what I was looking for at the time, and Zot gave a little bit of an out with the Cecil. And then when I found the spoon, Eddie, you know, got online and I could start doing things. Well, and then you just kept finding more and more and more for that Cecil. Oh yeah, definitely. Let's we'll start with the defense sword Avenger combo, and then when you finally finish eating 400 cold mist counters, you get a crystal sword. It's great. Yeah, this was a very sizzle-heavy scene, for sure. But was there anything else that really stood out to you in that seed? Uh, not that I can think of off the top of my head. I'm sure that there's a few other things that I'll think of in playback, but... Oh, not at the moment. Just glad to have run it well and to come away with a win. Well, again, GG. Um, it was very fun to watch. Push me to jump. Just seeing the movement is always enjoyable to see. Yeah, always. Makes for some silly shenanigans. Alright, thank you for the GGs, and thank all of you on the broadcast team for tonight. We wouldn't have a show without you, and I'm look forward to watching it back and seeing everything that you all had to say. Well, thank you so much. Again, thanks for letting us restream you. Thanks. You all have a good night. Good night. And, uh, in that span, we had several more finishers in this race. Um, uh, off, off the stream, we had uh, Stone Dingley finished in second with a time of 1.17.47. We had J. Brun TR in third with a 1.17.56. Antidale in fourth with a 1.18.06. And then our other restreamed uh, player, Jeebus, in fifth place with a time of 1.19.34, which a lot of these times were very close. And I believe we are actually joined by Jeebus. Uh, GG's to you. GG. Uh, Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, thanks for the GG. So, how did you feel about this seed? Uh, it was pretty fun right up until I got that close to the magma key and then just kind of walked away and did like, I don't know, four other checks before, <laughs> before doing that. Well, and at least it wasn't on, uh, you know, Cave Bahamut, where you left it on the moon. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was just, uh, I figured one of them's on the moon, one of them's on Earth after doing all the chains that uh, the regular game logic would do. I knew either the hook or the magma key was on the moon. So after getting the first one, I decided, ah, the other one's probably on Earth somewhere. 
yep. Um, logically, you know, number wise, it was probably on the earth, but didn't mean we weren't hoping for both you and Pancras to be punished for leaving that one check on the moon. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, we, we love the drama. And uh, I saw a little bit of that uh, that Zoromas fight. Uh, were you a little nervous there at the end? Uh, just a little bit. Um, I was playing far more risky than I should have on the uh, in the second phase. I should have just let Palom nerf the Big Bang, but I thought that maybe Kane and Cecil were doing enough damage to skip it. Uh, it ended up not happening. And Rosa wasn't at full health, so everything was quickly going pear-shaped. Um, thankfully, the Adamant Armor saves the day. Adamant Armor overall, I'll hail the Adamant Armor forever. It's nice, nice having those uh, back in the pool after we just had that long tournament. Oh, absolutely. We, I've, um, I took a break after. Uh, after falling out of the tournament, but uh, it's nice to see that a lot of the flag sets that that the community is playing nowadays is going back to uh, wildish um, treasure, standard treasure, you know, standard shops. Uh, it's nice to have that kind of power. <laughs> yeah, sometimes just power overwhelming is just exciting and fun. Oh, absolutely. And honestly, um, even if your party does quickly become more powerful than, you know, 90% of the bosses you're going to face, it just makes your checks that much more, uh, it makes your checks that much more, um, you know, impactful, whether or not you do this one before that one, and yep. so forth. Yep, definitely turns into more of your routing and execution. Right, exactly. But again, um, that was a very fun race to watch. Uh, very fun just to watch Push B to Jump, to watch y'all. Everybody kind of has their own different ways of getting in and out of places. Yeah, honestly, after a couple of weeks, I've just kind of gotten into the habit of using the same routes over and over again, but I think I should probably watch this one back, watch some of the other research, and see if anyone's found some interesting new ways to do things. Yeah, it's pretty great that a game like this, you know, that's been shuffled so many times, and this even, like, the base game is something like almost 30 years old. People are still finding new ways to do things. And new ways to break it. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Yep, this was a fun seed. Um, I really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, thanks everyone for coming. Thanks the re Thank you to the Restream team. And um, have a good night, everybody. Well, thank you so much. And again, GG's. Thank you. And with that, I do believe we are finished for this evening here on Free Enterprise. Um, it was a great race. I'm very excited to be able to do commentary with my friend Dijon Ketchup, who is always a pleasure to do comms with. And Alice Hill is also a pleasure to do comms and stuff with as well. And of course, we've got Xenocat tracking on the back end keeping us straight because uh, I don't know what's going on half the time especially in push B to jump and then Zoe who put this whole thing together thank you so much to them as well they're the ones who do all the hard work and uh, for now I believe we're going to leave you off with a raid um, we're going to be going over to see Commander Lee at heart um, he is currently doing a, an, e, an async race um, using the Legacy flag set. So if that's one 
race uh, that you were, what async that you were going to do, you know, just keep in mind, spoiler alert, that's what he's doing. And again, we do ask that um, you not spoil tonight's race for anyone in Commander Leonhardt's chat who may not have had an opportunity to see it. Um, but yeah, just say it was a great race and that you need to watch it. But with that, we are going to bid you good night. Yep, good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the small murder child bite.